Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Today, we just heard the news and we're so excited to hear that India has banned 59 Chinese apps. So we thank you, Modi Ji, yeah. Danivad, 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 that you are playing politics. We, we didn't really expect it this quickly, but we are so happy here at the Jan family that you're playing the politics with China. We don't want to lose any more Indian soldiers. You know, we just did that um, yesterday, the soldier begging everybody to take these apps off the phone yeah. while he's putting his life on the line at the border. Um, and we pray for those soldiers, but this just makes us so happy. This is like a first step in the chess game. You know, the people have been saying ban China's products. You know, people have been saying they've been taking TikTok off their phone. And when they've been shopping, they've been checking things and not buying. You know, everybody seems like they are on board and doing their part. But Modi has heard the people and and has done it. And it's amazing. Yeah. We are so happy. Because China is, you know, they're encroaching. They haven't been open and honest about this coronavirus. Trump talks about how many times they've, you know, not not doing right with trade, with, um, you know, agreements, with patents, you know, so many things over and over and over again. And here in the U.S., you know, Trump's talked about, you know, doing different things, but nothing has really gone through yet. And we're hoping that he can do something like Modi just did. Like, yeah. here's the first start. Let's ban some apps. They don't have Google. They don't have Facebook. They don't have Twitter. They don't have outside apps in their country. So why should we pay for them to be sneaking on our phones, probably, yeah. and, and have apps that are paying China money when they don't allow us in to investigate? So... We are all on board for this. So we're excited we're going to watch this news clip that yeah. just came out, and uh, we'll talk about it when we're done. There's some big news that's coming in right now. India has banned 59 Chinese applications, or apps yeah. as they're called. In one move, some of the biggest digital businesses of China have lost access to one of the largest, or perhaps the largest, market for Internet users in the world. On your screen is the list of all those 59 apps. Just look at the names. TikTok, UC Browser, WeChat, we, Weibo, Viva Video, WeSync, Share It, Quai, Baidu Map, You Cam Makeup. Some of the 59 there. India has said that these apps are engaged in activities that are prejudicial to the sovereignty and integrity of India. Basically, there are security concerns. Yes. India's defense, security and public order were under threat. New Delhi has said that the move will safeguard the interest of millions of Indian internet users. And this is a very big move, unprecedented in recent history. The implications cannot be overstated. Let's look at what this means. First of all, this is a very strong message to China and a very clear one. Yes. India one. has drawn the battle lines. Mm -hmm. This is a digital retaliation even as the standoff on the ground continues. Yeah. The two countries will have to face off on multiple fronts and India is striking on the digital front. Yeah. India has more than 574 million active internet users. It's among the largest wow, and wow. fastest growing yeah. markets for digital consumers in the world. And now top Chinese applications are no longer welcome to India. They don't have access to this growing market. The second implication, what India has hit at is China's soft power. Remember these apps have a lot of reach. China views technology as its stairway to becoming a superpower and banning Chinese apps will mean nipping this ambition in the bud. Mm -hmm. The third implication, yes, this is a major yeah. blow to China's digital Silk Root ambitions. Some of the top Chinese apps will lose a major user base and business. According to estimates, this move could erode millions of dollars from company valuations. That's how big the Indian market was. 10% of TikTok's revenue comes from India. 10%. TikTok has a total of 120 million monthly active users in India. 
its sister company, its sister brand, Halo. They're both owned by one company called ByteDance. Now, Halo has 50 million monthly active users in India, and the number was growing. The numbers for Bego Live, 22 million. Shein has 1 million active users in India. In January this year, Club Factory crossed the 100 million mark. 100 million monthly active users in India. Gone. Most of these apps were already facing the brunt of the boycott China wave. Yeah, good. I know a lot of people were yeah. taking TikTok's them off. downloads fell 5% from April to May and 38% from May to June 22nd. Halo saw a 10% decline in the number of users in the month of May. By June 22nd, the slide was 38%. So the consumers were rejecting these apps anyway. Awesome. Now, India is not the only country that's raising concerns about Chinese technology and Chinese apps. Huawei, remember, is something we have been reporting about. It has long been synonymous uh, with PLA spying. It's been seen as a PLA mole. As early as 2017, Weibo... WeChat and Baidu were being investigated for breaching cyber security laws. In 2018, the U.S. Council on Foreign Relations pointed at the link between the Chinese Communist Party and Baidu and Tencent. The same year, Australia instructed its armed forces to not use Chinese messaging app WeChat. In 2019, America started investigating TikTok. Earlier this year, TikTok was caught spying on iPhone users. Reports also claim that Chinese apps like Beauty Plus and UCAM were stealing data from users' phones. Mm -hmm. I've heard that. India's digital mm -hmm. retaliation comes weeks after the Galvan clash too. 59 Chinese apps have already been shown the door. Boycott China is something that has been trending in India. As India shuts its market to top Chinese apps, the question is, will more countries follow suit and will India expand the scope yes, of this ban? So. This was just amazing. Yeah. Amazing to hear. Like, we are so happy that Modi did this. Like, listen to the people listen to us that we've been saying like do the politics political war yeah we don't want war we want political chess yeah. we want you know move the pawns around but this is a first start and this is huge you know she said a lot of people were doing it anyways but this just made it a complete ban and yeah. and shut a huge chunk of their business down which this is what they need they need That's a amazing. big message yeah. And, and this was the way to go. It's a first step. You know, we're hoping that more countries do Hopefully, this. Yeah. Um, you know, that the trade imbalance is kind of the next way to go. Um, Fair trade, not free trade. Yes, yes. China shouldn't be making $5 for your $1 you make off of China or $10 to $1. Like, it should be a fair trade. And so we're hoping that you know, these are just one step, one step. In the game of chess, like, this is what we want. You know, no bloodshed, no more bloodshed no. at the border. We don't want World War Three. We want to keep the soldiers safe, especially Indian soldiers. You know, that's where our heart is. But we want everybody's safety. We yeah. don't want full-out war. We know Modi has requested um, the Raphaels to come as quick as they can. So we feel like, and he's been talking to Japan and, and, you know, they had their naval thing yesterday. So there's been things, you know, he's, he's kind of got it in with Trump. They are, seem to be buddies. So we feel like a lot of the Western democratic countries, bigger countries will support India on this, you know, if it becomes that way, but we, we really don't want it to become bloodshed. No, we want to hit China politically so that they get they get the point like you can't treat people like this you can't treat you know you let your apps go everywhere around the world but you don't let any apps inside you know just like you don't let anybody come and investigate no. you know we hope we hope President Trump does something similar here like start yeah. with the apps then work through the trade imbalance you know um, Tibet bill is going through the process and you know we are sending him our letters and and hopefully he hears the people and yeah. and 
does that for Tibet. Like if every country gets on board, the apps is just one easy way, I think, to do that. Huge slap in the face to China, oh, yeah. but something small, start start small. I mean, it it's a huge impact in the end. You know, work the trade imbalance in, um, you know, recognize Tibet as a free country, a peaceful, peaceful country. You know, these are little things that every, you know, the countries can do. And, and not just India, not just the U.S., everybody around the world, like everybody's been affected by this coronavirus. Everybody's been affected by not free trade race really what it is you know this is a way to kind of get the balance back and and not have them keep encroaching on their neighbors and keep trying to take more and more and more when they're not treating their own people correctly they're not treating the world with respect so yeah. you know we're we're done with that um you know and and if you don't think this is going to affect you you know, oh, well, you know, it does. If the coronavirus hasn't affected you, I don't know where you're living um, because it's affecting the whole entire world. Um, but we feel like Modi had this in his pocket. I don't know how long this has been in his pocket that he's doing this. If he just really felt like the people were speaking up and this was his way he thought he could lash out at China politically. But he sent a message the other day to the kids saying like make a video of your grandparents or your parents ask them about their festivals and the culture and how it was back then and use your phone for that so i feel like it was a way to um kind of give you a heads up before yeah. it happened so let's start this up mere nanne saathiyon se bhi aaj main ek vishesh aagrah karta hu bachche aap mera aagrah manenge na देखिए मेरा आग्रह है कि मैं जो कहता हूं आप जरूर करिए एक काम करिए जब थोड़ा समय मिले तो माता पिता से पूछकर मोबाइल उठाइए और अपने दादा दादी नाना नानी या घर में जो भी बुजुर्ग हैं उनका इंटरव्यू रिकॉर्ड कीजिए अपने मोबाइल फोन में रिकॉर्ड करिए जैसे आपने टीवी पर देखा होगा ना कैसे पत्रकार इंटरव्यू करते हैं बस वैसा ही इंटरव्यू आप कीजिए और आप उनसे सवाल क्या करेंगे मैं आपको सुझाव देता हूं आप उनसे जरूर पूछिए कि वो बचपन में उनका रहन सहन कैसा था वो कौन से खेल खेलते थे कभी नाटक देखने जाते थे सिनेमा देखने जाते थे कभी छुट्टियों में मामा के घर जाते थे कभी खेत खलिहान में जाते थे त्योहार कैसे मनाते थे बहुत सी बातें आप उनको पूछ सकते हैं उनको भी चालीस पचास साल साठ साल yeah. पुरानी अपनी जिंदगी में जाना बहुत आनंद देगा और आपके लिए चालीस पचास साल पहले का हिंदुस्तान कैसा था आप जहाँ रहते हैं वो इलाका कैसा था वहाँ परिसर कैसा था लोगों के तौर तरीके क्या थे सब चीजें बहुत आसानी से आपको सीखने को मिलेगी जानने को मिलेगी और आप देखिए आपको बहुत मजा आएगा और परिवार के लिए एक बहुत ही अमूल्य खजाना एक अच्छा वीडियो एल्बम भी बन जाएगा साथियों ये सत्य है कि आत्मकथा या जीवनी ऑटोबायोग्राफी या बायोग्राफी इतिहास की सच्चाई के निकट जाने के लिए बहुत ही उपयोगी माध्यम होती है yeah. आप भी अपने बड़े बुजुर्गों से बातें करेंगे तो उनके समय की बातों को उनके बचपन उनके युवा काल की बातों को और आसानी से समझ पाएंगे ये बेहतरीन मौका है कि बुजुर्ग भी अपने बचपन के बारे में उस दौर के बारे में अपने घर के बच्चों को बताएं। दिस इज रियली क्यूट आइडिया And, and especially rid of these apps. to the younger people that I feel like spend a whole lot of time on their phones <laughs> and um, using a lot of these apps. But, you know, you won't have as many apps. Hopefully you'll find some that are more made in India or made in countries that you agree to buy from. But then you can spend more time like outside or with family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a good way. I get a little bit back to family time, get a little bit back into nature. Um, but like he said... 
ask your parents these questions ask your grandparents these questions find out what it was like you know a long time back was the town did the town look like it used to look like you know or um, you know did you go to the movies or when you went on vacation was it like a vacation or did you go visit family you know what kind of things did you do what's different to now you know um, other than lots of cell phones and all (laughs) kinds of apps Um, but such a good idea and like we said we support Modi on this 100% like this is the first step in the many layer game of chess and politics that we need to play with China and India is not the only country that needs to do this Um, but you guys have that border that you know we don't want any more bloodshed from so um, this was the way to go and and this was a really cute message to the kids and and a great idea so we'll have Anjali and maybe Jaden I don't think Noah can can do much but he can listen um we'll try to call grandma and nana yeah um, bapama and uh and see if we can get them to uh interview them right and yeah. even us like anjali was just asking me um after the video like what did you do differently and even the stuff that i did is way different than what she does yeah. and um if my mom tells her it's even uh further back so Um, But a nice way to learn a little bit of history. This is how, you know, all these stories get told. Like Sadhguru said, Ramayan is one of those things that the the base is behind it is the same, but everybody's version of it may be slightly different. Maybe a little bit different. Everybody, yeah. The message behind it is the same. Yeah. Everybody's life is a little bit different, but... Um, it's a good history lesson for the kids yeah and we'll give them something fun to do when they don't have um, TikTok anymore (laughs) so I hope you guys like this don't forget to subscribe and join the wonderful growing Jan family and we'll see you tomorrow Bye. bye